Hello, history enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into the mysteries of the past to uncover what might have caused the death of Queen Elizabeth I, the Virgin Queen. It's been 420 years since her passing, and modern experts think they have unraveled the truth. In the last weeks of her life, the Virgin Queen faced not only the loss of her advisor and close friends, but a series of health challenges. Rotting teeth, painful abscesses, and a hand so swollen that her coronation ring had to be cut off. Life was tough for her. Fast forward to today, a modern-day autopsy led by Dr. Brett Lockyer concluded that pneumonia was the ultimate culprit. But why did a seemingly powerful queen succumb to such an illness? Professor Alice Roberts and her team investigated various health problems Elizabeth faced. Chronic lead poisoning, likely from her makeup, caused hair loss and dental issues. The queen's final months were marked by agony. Elizabeth's dental struggles were real. Dr. Lockyer explained, they were in terrible condition and there was some dental abscess and gingivitis. Infections from her mouth might have caused pain and contributed to her declining health. Her heart, showing signs of improper functioning, contributed to the mystery. A swelling left hand indicated a struggling heart, and after 45 years on the throne, her coronation ring had to be cut off. Elizabeth's autopsy revealed fluid in her lungs and an inefficiently pumping heart. Dr. Lockyer concluded, the cause of death is going to be the bronchial pneumonia without a shadow of a doubt, but the heart failure had an added role. After centuries of speculation, we now have a clearer picture of what might have led to the death of the last monarch of the House of Tudor. Join us in the comments as we discuss this fascinating journey into history. Thanks for tuning in to Learniverse. If you enjoyed this journey into the past, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more historical explorations. Until next time, this is Learniverse, signing off.